is Tony T. Dark Hall. And across the cage, Mike Pretty Boy Hills. And your referee in charge with this one, Mr. Sam Amidi. So here we go, Mike Howells, Tony Hall. Mike Howells straight across the cage. Lands a shot, Halls with a fantastic jab in retaliation. Yeah, Howells tries that low kick. Wow, straight into it. Looks for the double leg now, Hall. And as you said, the tall of the two, Rob, and straight punching can make it difficult to get in, but they're in that clinch against the cage now. And as you said, rightly, an explosive start to this bag. That's right, Howells wasted no time, shot straight across the cage. Hall there tried to get to the back, couldn't quite get there. Half guard position on his back now as Mike Howells rings down the shots. Howells with good work, keep him busy. Yeah, Hale, Hale's working hard, but Tony Hall, when that knee came up, took it and then gave a big smile. But there's already blood on the face of Tony Hall from that knee. He smiled through it. What a campaigner, but very fast start from Mike Hale. Hall just using that high advantage with those knees, popping them up. Position, position. Looking to swim inside there, Hall. Big, beautiful over the top with a right. Yes, it was a lovely elbow. And low, and low, and low. Left and right from Hales in response. Hall using that front kick. But he's got to use that height advantage. It's obvious that Hales is dangerous. He's got a good record. Just the one loss, and we've seen already what he's capable of, sir. Tony Hall needs to utilise that height and reach advantage and keep his man at range. Good work from Hall, just picking those shots and keeping out of range. That's what he needs to do, Rob. It, it takes time, it, it's hard, it takes cardio, but he's got the physique to do this, and it, it can make it difficult when you're the shorter man having to reset and come in again, only to get tagged again. That's the game plan for Tony Hall. And I said, it's not easy by any stretch of the imagination. Hall's sitting static. Hall's coming forward. And as you said, Malky's he's getting caught every time he tries to close that distance. It's good work by Hall. Well, what happens then is you have to reset and there's nothing more frustrating. You reset or what he has to do now is change the timing of the way he comes in. He has to explode in if he's going to, or he has to try and set it up, because when he's at this range, it's in Tony Hall's comfort zone. And again, just chops away at the leg. So what does Mike Hales have to do? He has to reset again. Yeah, Hall, good work. Just on the back of that jab, puts the jab out. There it is. Pulls his Hales backwards. Nice combination there, little left hook into the right. And again, the low kick just chopping away at Howes. This is the thing, he has to change Good the work. timing. And this is what you want to see when he does get in that range, is you want to see him explode and open up. Good work by Howes. Vicious knees and elbows, and, and that's really... You've seen the, the dual strategies from both men. The timing has to change from Howes, and you can see what he's capable of when he gets inside. The Hall, if he gets the chance to regroup, he's got to keep him on the outside again. Hall there almost went to jump for the arm, I believe, but changed tactics. Tony Hall just firing those short knees, giving Howes plenty to think about. Well, it's been a vicious opening round, Rob. Both men have really run some solid technique. And we're inside the last minute now. Good work by Howes. Beautiful shot on that right hook. And Hall being sucked in here. Well, that's good tactics from Mike Howes. He's keeping within range, spinning back this though from Hall. We've had everything in this round so far. Looks for the double leg. 
superb balance from Mike Hales. Excellent opening round from these two men as we go inside the last 30 seconds. And with the elbows and knees as well, you feel that this one could, could finish in an instant. And for me, Rob, as we come inside the final, well, we come towards the final 10 seconds, this has been the round of the night so far. That was with a good control in the head, but just as we go to the end of the round, Howes fires away. Tries to swing a huge shot. What an opening round. Wow, well, that had everything. <laughs> Explosive. Explosive, explosive. And both men still there. Yeah, we look at a replay, you can see Howells when he beautiful shot, that clipping over the top with the right. But as soon as he closes that range, he exploded. But it was Hall at this range where he was dangerous, just able to keep Howells at range, as you were saying, Mal. But once the range changed, you saw how dangerous Hales was. It's a hard game to play. And Hales, to his credit, when he gets inside, look at this, the elbows and the knees. And here's the right tactic. He's goading all, but all the time he's doing that, it's within his range, the range that he wants to be. And then this just inspired even more great action from both of them. And 30 seconds longer, this is over. getting quicker inside those long limbs of Tony Hall. He certainly had success once he got there. Hall made him work to get there, and he's got to do exactly the same here in the second row. Got to keep that range. Nice combinations again from Howes. He does put it together nicely. Well, this is the thing that surprised me about Tony Hall. He's willing to get inside and stand and trade with him. He's had success on the outside, but when he looks vulnerable, is at the closer range. He's invited that at the end of the first, and here, right at the beginning of the second. Oh, nice work by Hall. That said, that was a sweet uppercut. He's feeding one another out. And as you said, Rob, he's got a stiff jab, but this is explosive power and speed of Hales when he gets on the inside. That plum clinch from Hales. Paul just trying to work it wide. He's got a solid chin as well. And he's needed it towards the end of the first and the beginning of this, the second. And oh, beautiful that knee work. to the face, Rob. Both those knees landed to the face. Now he's chopping in with the elbows, beginning to really throw the hard, hurtful technique here, Mike Hales. It's certainly a tight game he's putting together there. The plum clinch, the elbows, the knees. Closes that range, he's dangerous. Tony Hall, though, so durable as well. Ball with that overhook. It's a defensive game from Hall at the moment. And there's those long limbs, almost able to climb straight onto the back of Howes. Howes top position, Hall on his back. You get the feeling that if he, he can clear here, Howes would drop those elbows down. Tony Hall still, but it's not bothered him to cut. It's been below the eye. It's been, if it's, it is a good position, it's there for Hall, so that hasn't bothered him. Grimacing Tony Hall as Mike Hales puts the pressure on, especially that head pressure, Rob. Yeah, Hall almost looks like he's uncomfortable from some sort of pain or discomfort. I think it's a default setting with him. His, his, his face has, has, has looked like that. He's going for the arm of got the Mike Hales there. 
looks to be setting it in. House could be in trouble. He's doing the right thing, just trying to work his way around, trying to create some space for himself. Paul's in quite a, a bad position to get his technique. He could do with a bit more space. But Howe's trying to fire. Paul pulling it deep. Firing those elbows in. Brings those legs in tight. Well, what a turnaround for Tony Hall if he can pull this off. But as I said, that grimace we see, I just think it's a, a face he pulls. It, from the opening round and the opening seconds of that round, we, we've seen him often with that expression. One minute 30 left in this round. Tony Hall trying to execute the triangle choke. Mike Howes trying to work his way out, trying to find some way of breathing. Big elbows chopping away, chopping away at Howes. Howes covers his own face with his arm. He's taking shots. Beautiful work from Tony Hall. Tries to lock the arm in, trying to work the straight arm. Howes taps this over. Tony Hall with the win. Wow! What a turnaround, Rob. I just get that grimace is his facial expression, I feel. What an electric atmosphere as Tony Hall secures that triangle choke. And do you know what? He had to do it from a position of defence at first. His chin and his desire to keep going is extraordinary. He took some incredible punishment, knees and elbows. Yeah, he did. I mean, Howes, when he got in tight, it was a tight game. Beautiful knees and elbows, but at the end of the round there, he ate a lot of elbows from Hall as Hall was trying to secure that triangle. And you can see the disappointment on Howes' face. Well, he must be wondering what he had to do to put his man away. I mean, he did everything right when he got inside. Looking but... at the replay, you can see Hall was just hammering away with those elbows to the open side of his face. And uh, beautiful work. And you can see Howes' hand just comes underneath, and there's taps the away. So determined, Tony Hall. You've got to credit him. At times, the pressure he was under was immense, and yet he retained enough to get that incredible submission. Ladies and gentlemen, show both of these warriors a massive round of applause to what is undoubtedly the fight of the bar this evening. And the end comes at 14, 4 minutes and 15 seconds of the second round. Your winner by way of Kamora submission. Fighting out of the red corner, Tony T Dog. Oh! And show your appreciation for our very brave runner up, Mike Pretty Boy Hales. I'm with the winner of what is undoubtedly the fight of the night, Tony Hall. And Tony, if anyone ever epitomised Never Say Die, that was you tonight. Some of the pressure, but you just would not give in. Yeah, I feel like we touched gloves in the very first round. I think he, he hit me with a cheap shot, to be honest. He touched gloves and he threw a backhand straight off. Bit, bit, bit scummy in my opinion, but fuck it, I got my hand raised in the end. Well, the thing was, he came to you with a very strong Muay Thai game, 
You took some shots, some heavy shots, but when the opportunity came, you just were not going to let it go. You were going to have that submission, even as he was raining down blows on you. Yeah, I think I was landing the best strikes, to be honest. I think if I went into the third, I don't think he would have had that lead leg, to be honest. I was hacking away at it. You know, we knew he was a good striker. We knew I'd beat him in the grappling anyway, but I always like to stand with people. That's, that's just me. That said, when did you realise, this is my opportunity, the submission's on, what were your thoughts then? He, he kept letting me tie his arms up, like, he wasn't bothering to circle them out, so I just took advantage of it. Well, took advantage is the key word. The fight of the night, an absolute battle. But you are the man that came up on top. What heart, Tony. Thank you. Don't feel lucky. I feel a bit bashed up. But I've got to win, so...